What time's Sarah back? She's still asleep. I just spoke to Andy. Best thing for her, to ever getting all wound up. Yeah. I just feel so sorry for her. You know, we should be out getting stuff for school, not stressing about what the doctor's gonna do. Yeah. At least we're getting it sorted. Yeah. I just can't stand all the waiting. It's doing my head in. Well, you know, if it was serious, they would have got us in straight away, wouldn't they? But they could have just told us. <sighs> Try not to worry, and I know that sounds impossible, but a lot of the time it's just, you know, doctors playing it safe. There could be nothing wrong with her. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, hiya. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah, she crashed out in front of Kung Fu Panda. But you're still gonna come round ours later, aren't you, and tell our Jake all about it? Well, I think she'll have had enough excitement for one day. Oh, come on, the holidays are nearly over. Oh, really? And there's me and Mum dragging her to the hospital, yeah? <sighs> she didn't mean it like that. Don't want to go. Want to stay with Dad and Alicia. Not great. What a brilliant help you are. Oh. Hey, sweetheart, are you all ready? You're going to bring me back a sticker, show me how brave you've been, eh? No. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You want to go and see the hospital, don't you? Remember what we said? There's going to be that special playroom. Is it good? I don't know, but I think we should check it out. OK. Yeah, that's Miguel. So you're coming too, then? Yeah, yeah, I've got the day off work. Is that a problem? Well, as long as I'm out with the hospital. I'm sure they'll manage to find another chair. Hey! Oh, come in, my don't you? Well, I'm just looking for a little girl about, um, this high. Oh, hi. Um, I need some help from you. Yeah, guess what? I need a bridesmaid. Me! Yeah, you! I'm the page boy! <laughs> Is this a joke? I'll take that as a congratulations, then, shall I? Wait a minute, heck, that's a turnaround. Come on then, show us the ring. Okay, family heirloom. Nice. Second hand, you must be gutted. Well, it means a hundred times more than anything you've ever bought me. Gosh, thank you so much for such an underwhelming response, everybody. Yeah, it's really heartwarming to know how much you all care. Sarah's hospital visit today, you stupid cow. Yes, I know that, thank you. And don't call me a stupid cow, just trying to take a mind off it. Nothing to do with winding Dad up, then. You just can't help yourself, can you? No, Debs, that isn't the reason. <sighs> You're unbelievable. Go on, don't let us keep you. Debs, I was trying to be supportive. Supportive? You don't know the meaning of the word. Come on, babe. Hey, what have we got? Half a plane. A beaker. A snazzily dressed gentleman. You're all broken. I know. It's because lots of children play with them. I want to go home now. Listen, you can when your mum and dad have finished talking to the doctor. Any nosebleeds? No. Maybe one in the last couple of months. It was nothing. Bleeding gums? When she brushes her teeth? I don't think so. What's he saying? I don't know. Lots of boring stuff, probably. But hey, listen, you did really well. He poked my tummy. That's because he was feeling it, trying to work out what he had for breakfast. No, he wasn't. So, do you know what it is then? Sarah's test results are showing that her blood counts are low. That's abnormal, not what we'd want to see. Why are they low? The most likely reason is that the bone marrow's not working as it should. But he's a very clever man. Okay, and he's going to find out what's wrong with you so that he can make you better again. I'm going to play with Jacob and I won't feel tired anymore. So what's wrong with her? What are you saying? Well, we've narrowed it down to it being a possible genetic condition. Condition? What sort of condition? There's four possibilities, but as I said, until we investigate further, we can't tell at this stage. Well, what are the possibilities? We want to know. They're all very complicated, and each child reacts differently. Some more serious than others. I know this is difficult, but I can't be any clearer than that. So what's this test, then? She's had loads of tests already. It's called a chromosome breakage test. We'll collect a bone marrow sample by biopsy. Sarah will be under general anaesthetic. I've made an appointment for her the day after tomorrow. That soon? We need to get her diagnosis as quickly as possible. Before she deteriorates anymore. So she's going to get worse then? 
We'll talk more next week. Hey, up. How'd it all go? Well, come on, I haven't covered for you all morning for nothing. Dad, can we just talk about this later, please? Can you take Sarah to the cafe? What? I'm halfway through an oil change. Dad, please. Right, come on, you. Oh, could ask your mum, you know. If we'd have just paid a bit more attention. Oh, come on, guys, don't go there. There's no point in torturing yourselves. Thanks. You sure you don't want one? And this genetic disorder, we haven't got it, have we? That's what the tests are going to find out. But it's got to be from your side, though, hasn't it? I mean, when folk are closely related, that's what the doctor was getting at. Are you saying this is my fault? No, I'm just stating a fact. It's no secret that your family are all... What? Inbred? Mixed up. Your mum and dad are cousins. Distant cousins. I can't believe you're doing this. Well, I'm just trying to work it out, Debbie. I'm not blaming you. Well, that's what it sounds like. Well, they ask the questions. Yeah, that's because they need to get as much background as possible. <gasps> Will you shut up? Oi! You don't know what you're going on about. Yeah, nor do you. But it's none of your business. Why is he even here? Because I care about Sarah too. And Andy, you need to start dealing with that. You know, this isn't about you. I really don't think we need you going off on one. I'm just trying to do everything I can. Oh, and I'm not. Hiya. Take your time. I was just having a drink. Nice to know where priorities lie. Can I just talk to Debbie? Right, I'm going to take Sarah up. Come on, you. Let's go and find a book. All right, sweetheart. What is it, then? What did the doctor say? Come on, Debs. You haven't said a word since I got back. They don't know anything for definite. They didn't even want to tell us. But? She's got something wrong with a bone marrow. It could be one of four things. Well, what... what things? I don't know till a test come through. It's linked to some genetic disorder. A what? Something wrong with the genes. Yeah, I can work that out. A blood count came back abnormal, basically. And now they need to do more tests. What does that mean? What's wrong with it? I just said, I don't know. She's going back in a couple of days for a general anaesthetic. What? Well, that's good if they're going to get to the bottom of this. It means it's really serious if they need to do all these tests. Whatever she needs, we will sort this. Yeah. And Sarah is a little fighter. I'm flipping it. If you're looking at jeans, you couldn't get a better lot than ours. You're not wrong there. I just, I just don't want it to be Sarah. I know that I shouldn't wish it on some other kid, but it's just so not fair. Oh, sweetheart. What if she is really ill? What am I going to do? How am I going to tell her? <laughs>